you're talking about setting yourself apart from other other people you're also talking about your peers um, and it's not just getting involved but it's making the right decisions if you want to stand out and be that leader it's not just in certain areas of your life it's throughout the entire spectrum of your life if you are in a club if you're with your friends when you are at home by yourself it is about making the right choices and the way you live your life is the way that sets you apart from other people around you. Not by what you say, but it's by what you do. I would say um, to spend more time um, enjoying the moments because they really pass quickly. Um, uh, and, and you'll look back and say, gosh, I wish I would have had more fun while I was doing that. I mean, even though kind of the flip side of it is that if you have too much fun, then you might not get the thing accomplished that you need to get um, accomplished. But in there somehow to figure out how to, how to find the joy in a situation. I think that I would love to encourage, especially women, when you start negotiating for your jobs, make sure you ask for more money. Because if you don't, you will never catch up to the guys. Guys are not afraid to ask for more money. When you get into a hiring situation, the people that don't ask for more money, the people that hire them wonder, oh my God, did I really hire the right person? So know your value. Know your value. Do your homework before you go into that negotiating room. It makes a big difference in retirement and everything. Women have a tendency to always doubt themselves, and so this is, goes to your point as well. Not doubting yourself. Always know what you know. And even if you feel like you are not, uh, that you don't deserve whatever it is you're going to ask for, ask in anyway. And don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody, I uh, maybe I'm not worth it, or, or maybe I should. No, don't say that even to yourselves. Just go ahead and do it.